In this quick video, we're going to go over the number configuration and text in bulk and how you can configure any phone number. So there's two different ways that you can configure phone numbers and text in bulk. One is going through the dashboard and clicking on this configure button on whatever phone number you want to configure. The other will be going to your number management tab. And once you get inside your number management tab, just click on the response configuration for any phone number that you want to configure. So we're going to go in and configure this phone number, Link Wizard, because I can see it doesn't have any configuration yet. So once you get in, the first thing that you want to do is you will want to configure your incoming SMS configuration if you want to be able to receive text messages inside our platform on this phone number. So you'll just want to click this Change Configuration tab, and you'll want to select what configuration that you want. You can select from static response, auto response, or no response. So let's start with static response. If you configure your phone number for incoming text messages as a static response phone number, what that means is every single incoming message that you receive, you are going to send back a static response. And you could send something back like, we do not accept text messages at this number please call us. Now every single person, once you save this message, and once you save this message, you'll want to make sure that you actually enable this phone number to receive these configurations. So if you see this is green and it says enabled, that means your response configuration is enabled. So with this type of static response configuration, what that means is every single time anybody sends this phone number a text message, you will automatically reply back with this message, all right? So let's change our configuration again. The next configuration we're gonna go over is a no response configuration. So in this no response configuration, you can see it's already enabled, so we still have it enabled. What this means is that every incoming text messages that you receive on this phone number, the system will not automatically do anything. The text messages will be visible to you in the message history, but the software will not automatically do anything for you. You will have to manually respond to all these incoming text messages. So a no response number just means that our software will not automatically respond to incoming text messages on your behalf. So the next configuration that we're going to go to is we're going to look at our auto response. Now, in order to have an auto response configuration available, you need to have first created an auto responder from the auto responder tab. If you haven't done that and don't know how to do it, you can always watch the training video on auto responders and how to create an auto responder. So I've already created several auto responders, so I'm just going to pick the one that I want enabled on this phone number. Now you you can have any auto responder enabled on multiple different phone numbers, and I'm just going to make sure that this is actually I, I, I'm just going to make sure that this is actually enabled. Now this is a, enabled and what that means is all incoming text messages are going to be put through this autoresponder. And if that autoresponder finds any messages that it's able to automatically respond to, it will automatically respond to your message. If it doesn't find any message that it can automatically respond to, you'll have to respond manually to that message. So if you want to use your autoresponder, you'll just change your configuration to an auto response, and then just select the autoresponder that you want to use. Now that we have our SMS configuration for incoming text messages done on this phone number, we're going to next go through and decide whether you want to enable SMS notifications. If you would like to receive notifications to your cell phone or any other SMS capable phone number or your email every time you get an incoming text message on this number, you'll want to enable these notifications. So if you want to get notifications on your cell phone, just put in your cell phone number here and then just click the set button and then you're all done. And you can see that now you are enabled and every time you get an incoming text message on this phone number, we'll send you a message to that phone number. Same thing for email. If you would like to get notifications via email every time you get a new message on this phone number, just put in your email address and then click the set button. And now every time this phone number gets a new incoming text message, we will send you a notification to your email. 
So now we have our SMS configuration completely configured. The next thing that we'll want to do is configure our incoming call configuration. What should we do when we get an incoming phone call? All right. If you want to receive calls in the browser, so if you want to actually be able to physically receive these phone calls either on the browser or have them forwarded, you'll want to enable this receive calls configuration. Now that you've enabled this receive calls configuration, the calls will be able to come right into the browser and you'll be able to answer them. So you do have a couple options here. So you have a couple options with an intro audio. You can go in and configure an intro audio. This intro audio will essentially be the first thing a caller hears when they call your phone number. So for example, I could say something like, thank you for calling tier five. All calls are recorded for call quality assurance. Please allow us a moment while we get a representative. And then the phone would start ringing and somebody could pick up the phone. So this intro audio is gonna be the first thing that the caller hears whenever they call your phone number. If you would like to leave a custom voicemail message in case you can't answer the phone, then you can leave that voicemail message right here. You can upload an audio or you can record an audio. This is like the same thing you would do on your phone. If you can't answer the phone and it goes to voicemail, the caller is going to hear this message before being prompted to leave, leave a voicemail. Now, the next thing I want you to see is the call forwarding. All right. If you would like calls forwarded to another phone number, then you can configure that right here in call forwarding. All right. So in this instance, I've configured call forwarding to this number. And what that means is if I got an incoming phone call on this number, I would first have the option to receive it in the browser if I'm logged in to the system. So if someone's logged into the system that has access to this phone number right here, the first thing that's going to happen is the phone's going to start ringing right in the browser. You can either receive it right in the browser and just have a phone call right in the browser, or you can click the hang up button. If you click the hang up button and you have call forwarding enabled, that will forward the call out to the numbers here. So if you have more than one numbers, that call will go out to all numbers almost at the same time. There is a slight delay between it going to each number, but it will almost go out at the same time. Now, if you don't want to receive calls in the browser whatsoever, then you can turn on instant call forwarding. If you turn on instant call forwarding, the calls will never go to the browser. They will be instantly forwarded out to this number or all the numbers. Remember that you can add in more numbers if you want. So in this instance, whenever we turn on instant call forwarding and we have these two numbers, what will happen is as soon as somebody calls this phone number right here, whenever somebody calls this phone number right here, we will instantly forward those calls out to these two phone numbers. I do want you to keep in mind that if you have an intro audio, your caller is still going to hear that intro audio before being forwarded. So your other option that you have here is you can enable incoming calls to go to an IVR. So you can go in and create an IVR. You do need to have an IVR created from the IVRs tab. If you don't have an IVR created already, feel free to watch the training video on how to create an IVR. So um, once you've created an IVR, you can just go in and it's as simple as selecting your IVR and enabling this configuration. Once you enable this configuration, all incoming calls will now be routed into the IVR that you selected. Your other configuration for incoming calls could be a conference line. So in order to enable conference line, you're first just going to click this configure button. And once you're going to, once you click that configure button, then you want to make sure that you just enable your conference line. Now what will happen is incoming calls will be put automatically into a conference line. At any time, if you want to change configuration back to receiving calls in the browser, you can just enable this configuration again. And that's everything that you need to know about configuring a phone number inside the Text and Bolt platform.